the events of this past weekend unfolding. I wanted to talk to someone who has had a racial identity in politics that I've always looked up to and helped shaped you know, help shape me as sort of a white kid growing up in the suburbs. And and even if this wasn't a sports podcast, you truly were the first name that I said when asked. And it means a lot for me to be able to talk to you today. So for people who don't know who Craig Hodges is, is there any way you could kind of go over your upbringing and how, as a kid, you first got into activism growing up? Yeah, well, once again, I was blessed uh, that my soul came down in the Hodges household June 27, 1960, at the height of the civil rights movement. Um, my mom was instrumental in, the, in as far as being the secretary of the movement in the South Suburbs. And, you know, during that period of time, it wasn't babysitter. So, well, mom went, she went. And I was at all the meetings watching live leadership, watching Robert Lowe, who was the president of the organization, and to see how it was when, you know, when everybody was oppressed from the same, feeling the same pressure from the same place, whether you were a millionaire or a bus driver. And for me, uh, I, I recall coming home 1968, April 4th, and, and my granny and mom crying like I'd never seen before, and Dr. King had been murdered. So from that point on, I was on a quest to see what his life meant and how much it meant to so many people. And then to have, you know, models in front of me like Muhammad Ali, John Carlos, Tommy Smith, Jim Brown, and my family was one that was. My granddad was the he was the director of the parks in our community, and my granny was the homemaker and, and stabilizer. So for me, I was blessed to have aunts who taught me how to read before I went to school. So education was primary, and, and secondary was my athletics. So it was truly um, a training of student athleticism with the overriding principles that get undergirded so the civil rights movement, social activism, and now where we face. It's truly a human rights situation that the planet has to face that has never been talked about or really wanted to really look into the depths of it. 